Just weeks old, these baby turtles that could fit in the palm of your hand were rescued from shoreline nests after not being able to crawl to sea with the rest of their clan. Now the Coast Guard is helping these researchers ferry the green and loggerhead hatchlings to join their brothers and sisters in the ocean. We're seeing some of the small mats of sargassum seaweed right now, but we do see some larger mats just ahead. So uh, just, a, just another uh, half a mile, quarter mile or so straight ahead and we'll probably slow down, pull up next to the mats and start releasing some turtles. About five miles offshore, the seaweed line comes into focus. It's important to put the turtles at this exact spot where they can find shelter and a steady source of food. The difficult part about keeping this boat uh, away from the seaweed line so we don't place the boat on top of the sea turtles and drown them. At last, it's time for the release. It may take several attempts and several maneuvers to eventually release all 505 turtles, you can imagine. We're, do, we're doing a handful at a time. You can see they are in their element, kicking and gliding, home at last. These little baby turtles live amongst all that sargassum seaweed for years, and they are at the mercy of the ocean currents. And then we usually don't see them until a few years later when they start returning back to the coastal waters. So it's mission accomplished. We'll never know how many of these baby turtles will actually make it to adulthood, but thanks to these efforts, they are getting a second chance at survival. In Boca Raton, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.